Hey everyone, this is Kfir and I am a co-founder and the CEO of DSM Tool. And today I'd like to share with you my thoughts about the DS Magazine article, 16 sections to find great products in Amazon. In the article published by Michel, our content curator in DSM, we are presenting to you 16 different Amazon sections. Yes, there are 16 Amazon sections, which, well, to be honest, even I didn't know about many of them. And there is a good chance and, and it's worth going through them because maybe you also don't know about some of them. So I'm not going to go over all of the sections. The screen is always behind me in those videos, but so I'm going to look, I'm not going to go over the sections in this video because it's pointless. You can just go in, uh, it's at blog.dsmtool.com and read it and don't forget to comment. Sorry, don't forget to comment below. It's very important for us to hear what you guys are thinking. It's very important for us that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, that you join our Facebook groups because we want to know what do you think about it? If you like what we're doing, uh, we're trying to help you build your business and it's really helpful for us to get your feedback. We're happy about it. We're happy to create more of it. Uh, and, and that's how we know to which direction to take it. So my note for today, I've done a couple of videos before and um, I invite you also to watch them. But my point for today is that when you go over the Amazon sections, what's important to understand is that Actually, you can find such sections. Well, nobody competes with Amazon with the amount of crazy sections that they make. They make a section only for family and only for, I don't know, five types of different sections for, um, for different type of deals and different type of discounts. And you're more than welcome to go over them. But the point is that, well, what if you're not selling only from Amazon? Or what if your strategy is not selling from Amazon at all? Or what if you're thinking to expand to other suppliers? I actually have been talking about expanding to other suppliers a lot, and I'm going to keep that line most of the time. I'm, I'm just, this article is about specifically about Amazon and we love dropshipping from Amazon. It's like the best supplier to, to begin with. And yet, we, I do think, I do like to talk in those videos about how can you expand your business and how can you move on and more suppliers will be added to DSM tool. So you better know how to work with multiple suppliers. And my point is that if we could curate 16 Amazon sections uh, that you can find great products in, I'm sure that together we can curate. Well, actually right now we can curate for, for such sections or for such ideas in other websites. And I have two websites just as an example. The first website that I, that I got is M, uh, Walmart. And uh, I'm going to move a tab here. I opened the Google search and I, and I wrote, I took one of uh, uh, Amazon sections. It's the, the clearance. It's called the warehouse clearance. And I was typing in Google the exact same thing for Walmart. And well, guess what? First result, right? Yeah. First result is warehouse outlet by Walmart. And if I go in, I, I did not go further with the, with the investigation. So I don't, I don't really know if it's really, you know, clear and sale prices and I don't know what is the stock level there. And I'm sure that there, there are things that we can discuss about whether it's a good section to use or a bad section to use. But well, the, my point is that within 20 seconds, I found it. So, which are the suppliers that you're working with? What kind of sections can you find there? That's my first point. The second point is that sometimes in those websites, you would find sections which are not exactly, well, uh, not exactly special kind of sections, but could give you a hint on maybe market demand, maybe, not sure, but maybe they can give you a hint of on what to sell, what's trending right now. Uh, and one place that I found it was in AliExpress. If you're working with AliExpress, I'll go to the next tab. Wait a second. You can find in the first page um, another section, which is not a warehouse. I couldn't find, for example, AliExpress clearance. So there are some things that I took from the article that I couldn't find in AliExpress. But here is something new that I found that actually doesn't even exist in Amazon. I found it's called New User Zone. And in the new user zone, if you're not, I guess that you see it if you're not registered, I have to be honest with you. I checked it like two minutes ago and I didn't go 
deep into it because it doesn't matter. I'll make my point in, in a few minutes and you'll see that it doesn't matter. But in the new user section, I assume that they address new users who did not yet register, who did not, did not yet buy product and they want to make sure that they're selling them something, anything. They want, the, once the, the user has a good experience with AliExpress, he will keep coming back to AliExpress and purchase more items. So two things pops to my mind, uh, to, to my eyes immediately. First, they give a $4 coupon. That's like at the top of the page. Well, here is $4 for you for free for the next purchase in AliExpress. And second, um, they put in that page items that I would assume, again, I, don't, I can't confirm that theory, but I would assume that if they put them in those pages per category, maybe these are items that they know that are best sellers right now. So maybe it's another way to look at best sellers and to try to find them. And maybe then you can look at other suppliers and try to locate those specific um, items for even for cheaper price or for better terms, or you can find a competitive way to sell them. But the point is that if you are using any kind of website, if you're Amazon sellers, uh, I mean, if you're sources from Amazon, Walmart, AliExpress, whatever source that you're using, it's definitely worth a while to take a time. Well, every week I'm saying, take some time to learn something new this week. So this week I would say that your task is, um, your learning time should be deep into the different sections in the, in one of the sources that you're working with, learn what can it offer to you. Maybe it has some great products, great deals, and a great way for you to grow your business. Thank you for uh, listening to this video. I would be here also in, my, in the next review. Um, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.